Why do primaries contestants usually announce that they are suspending their campaign when they exit it? It seems to be just another political euphemism, in line with politicians not being terribly willing to admit when they are wrong, but is there anything more than that to the use of suspend when they exit a primary race? Has there been any primaries candidate that has unsuspended, i.e. resumed the race after previously announcing a suspension? There are a couple of reasons why candidates do this. Firstly, because the Federal Election Commission only considers a campaign as closed down for good after a winding down process is complete, including the sale of campaign assets and the handling of debts. Not shutting down the campaign for good also allows campaigns to continue accepting money from donors to fund this winding down process and to help pay off debts. Additionally, suspending a campaign allows it to be unsuspended. Notably in September 2008, John McCain suspended his campaign for two days in order to focus on the financial crisis. He continued to accept donations throughout this suspension, and resumed it in order to participate in a debate. Going back another few years, Ross Perot suspended his campaign for three months in 1992, resuming it ostensibly due to motivation from grassroots supporters. The same article also details the dramatic suspension of Adlai Stevenson's campaign in 1952, a week before Election Day, in order to respond to a prison riot. Stevenson would go on to lose the election to Eisenhower. 